For me, golf is all about ball control. That, that's the skill. I think, I think video shows you style, but what really matters is skill. Video can show you if you go to Pretty Swing. What Trackman does is really give you a, a snapshot, actually not a snapshot, a really detailed look at how skillful are you. I just want to see if a pattern emerges here, because I'm sort of collecting some data here. I know you've only hit four shots, but you know that, that it, 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 it shows that all those shots are to the left. Yeah, and that one's to the left. So I always start with where does the ball start and how is it curving? That's always my starting point, what does the ball do? And then I start, if the ball isn't behaving, I start to look at what is the club doing that would cause bad behavior with the ball or unwanted erratic behavior with the ball. And then I'll do what golf pros do. I'll go right from setup to grip to this to that to, to try and change the numbers. And so I want you to hit one more and I'm going to show you something here now. So a draw would be something that starts to the right and turns to the left and finishes about on your chosen target line. You can see each of those six shots has finished left of mm -hmm. the target line. That last shot you hit, the way Trackman works, if you're a right-handed golfer, negative means to the left. Mm -hmm. So right here I've got launch direction. That means that ball started to the left and then the spin axis means, um, you know, that's just curving off to the left of it. So negative means left. So what that means, that ball started left and it curved left. My, my objective here would actually be to get your ball, by the time we're done, to be, I call it, for you, it would be posneg. I want you to be starting it to the right, starting it to the right, spinning it to the left. Mm -hmm. Positive in the left-hand box, negative in the right-hand box. Now, my job as a teacher is to know how to make that happen. That's ever so valuable information for me. Let's go over there and let me give you my suggestions about what you should do. I think ball striking-wise, people are just going to get better and better and better because of Trackman. I think it helps people invent their own feel. I, that's what I had a student say to me, that like, what track, that's just what he said. Eric said to me, student has helped me invent my feel. And of course, if the student invents that feel, then they can pull that up anytime they want. So I love that about it. Steeper, a little bit shallower, the feeling, it's only a feeling, but the feeling is probably going to be that you're swinging up and to the right. Okay, let me see what happens with that. Steeper, shallower, hit the inside of that ball. Now that started, mm, looked a bit better than that actually. Yeah, that started close, now that's interesting. That only started 0.8 left, so that started almost perfectly straight, but it had a lot of spin on. <laughs> which probably means you did something rather naughty with your hands and yeah. the club face. So when I said pause neg, I should have said, I didn't, I should have said with small numbers. <laughs> yes. So this 13 degrees of spin axis, we need to get that down. Let me show you how we're going to do that. Th things have come back to me that I heard years ago by using TrackMan. It sort of wakes up things in the gray matter here. I remember years ago, Faldo talking about when he hit his best wedge shots and his best seven irons and eight irons, it felt to him like it was a tiny, tiny cut. And you know, the, the cameraman back there or the spectators back there would say, no, no, it went straight. But the player would know it was a tiny cut. And that was really hard to get people to understand until he said, well, how about a negative one start direction and a positive two spin axis? Because for sure, that ball looks like it went dead straight in the air to the human eye except it didn't really. I want your sensation to be something like this. And that feel out to the right to you. We do that again. Trackman's not going to pick that up. Close, so we're getting there. The numbers on Trackman, right across the board, the whole spread, the numbers on Trackman put every swing theory I've got on trial as a teacher, which I absolutely love. If I just have a look at your face angle here, see how the face angle says negative five there? Mm -hmm. I want to check. I'm going to leave that number up there. Negative is left. So I want you to get that. The opposite of negative would be mm -hmm. positive. Okay. Now that was a lot better. Now look at the difference there from where we started. 
positive launch direction means it starts to the right. Oh, look, a ball right of the target line. How exciting. Starts to the right, face was open to the target line, which it must be for a draw. And actually that ball had virtually no side spin, point spin axis. So if I was your teacher, I'd say, look, this is a really good way for you to be going. Recently, I was talking to Tiger Woods and he was saying with TrackMan, his draws and fades have improved so much because he's realized, you know, he's brought the path numbers down, the face numbers down, and the spin axis numbers down. And he said for the first time in his career, this is mind boggling, for the first time in his career, when he's hitting draws and fades, he's still aiming down the fairway. Now that blew my mind. Until six months ago, when he was trying to hit a fade, he aimed in the weeds on the left. When he's trying to draw, he aimed in the cabbage on the right. That's amazing. Up. Steeper, shallower, up here in the noggin, make it go to the right. And you don't need to twist it to hit a draw. Some, some do, but the better players don't. Pretty good, but you can do better. Now you'll see pretty good in the numbers here, because that ball, the launch direction again, 0.5 to the left. Mm -hmm the face angle 0.4. So I mean, pretty good. And, and even if they don't go absolutely straight, my experience with Trapman is this, small numbers end up being good numbers. So I'm going to put a fiberglass rod just on your target line. Up, under, start it to the right. Very well done, very well done. Bingo. Start 2.3 to the right. And you can now tell me that number in the box is positive. and the number on the left hand box, the right hand box is negative. And that's what we set out to do. Mm -hmm. And it lets me test my swing theories and it lets my students see whether my theories are good. If my theories are right, at the very least, those numbers should start coming down, even if you don't turn them into a drawer. So I think it's really good to find out whether, whether you're giving them good advice or not. If you give them the right advice, those numbers will change.